That is not gangster. That's very not gangster. At that target range, scoring mm -hmm. all the headshots. Mm -hmm. Tea bagging y'all, liftings mm -hmm. on the rocks. What's the deal, my niggas and niglets? That, that ain't make no sense. Anyways, man, what's up, man? Digging in your fridge, that cool black guy. And uh, I'm running with, uh, I'm not I'm not running solo this time. Even though I apologize that it is on Raid. Uh, but Raid is just, my, Raid is just my map, man. I go to work on Raid. But anyways, man, playing with uh, my homies. Who we got up here? We got the Market J. Uh, we got Big Snacks up in here. And uh, we're playing with Death Monkey. I don't know the fuck that is. Oh, yeah, I remember who Death Monkey is. Sorry. Sorry. Talk to Molly. I'm sweating. Woo. All right, y'all. So uh, I want to talk about uh, the importance of route running. Now, I ain't talking about Adrian Peterson. I'm talking about like your routes that you choose uh, when you're running a map. Because in my opinion, route running is the most important factor. And damn, I fucked that up. I should have been able to get away. Route running is the most important factor in uh, the way that you play. So I'm going to go into detail on why I feel that and what's, what, what's so important about it and stuff like that. Now, some people might feel like uh, accuracy is the most important, the gun that you use. Uh, obviously, connection is very important, but connection you don't really have uh, control over. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm just talking about shit you got control over. But as far as, like, the getting good scores, getting good KDs, uh, you know what I'm saying, just being successful at playing the game, Route running is the most important thing. Now, I pay attention to the UAV, uh, the mini map, whatever the fuck it's called, a lot because that is going to tell me where and what I'm going to do. Like, sometimes if I have a silence around, like I do right now, I try to stay away from my team. Like, right here, I'm flanking. Like, I can see all of where they're spawning at. I got the nigga bird up in the air. I can see everything of where they're coming. But, like, when I know that they're running towards me like that. God damn. Um, when I know, like, the enemy, the other team is running towards me, then I kind of chill. I just let them. I get me a nice little spot where I got some cover. Like, right here, I got this little totem pole to the right. You know what I'm saying? I'm just chilling because I know that they're running towards me. This is where they're going to be spawning at. So, I don't want to go out there all up in the open. Knowing that they got about five or six people running in my direction. I want to stay somewhere where it's a little bit of cover. If I got to, I could duck behind a, a pillar or a fucking uh, a, whatever whatever this is, a tree. And it's trees, man. You can't shoot through trees on this game for some fucking reason. You shoot through five layers of solid concrete, but you can't shoot through a tree on this game. So I highly suggest finding a tree if you need some cover. But other than that, man... Like right here, my man's is, I can see exactly where it is, but I know my teammates are right there with me, so I can kind of be a little bit more aggressive. Um, but when no teammates are around, that's when I kind of chill a little bit because you want to catch them off guard. So when you away from your teammates, that's when you want to chill. You want to get you a nice little cover area because they're going to be running towards you. They're going to, they, some of them might be looking on the mini map too and seeing like, yo, all, uh, all the team is on this side. They're not going to expect one random guy just sitting over there by himself. So they're going to be sprinting. When they sprinting, that's the best time to just light their asses up. Because when they sprinting, you can't get hit with no bullshit. Like your bullet's not registering or something like that. I mean, it, it, it happened every now and then with this game just because of how it is. But for the most part, when they sprinting, unless they got some crazy ass reactions and you just can't aim for shit you're gonna get that kill so i try to get in those areas where i'm hoping all this shit makes sense i'm trying to get in those areas where people are just running they don't expect you to be at and they're just trying to do shit like cap a flag or just trying to get to a campus spot i try to get in between that campus spot that i know that they're going to because they're not going to be expecting nobody be sitting there but like right here this dude i know he was up in this window like everybody always is on this map so i just went i took i went behind him instead of trying to go face to face with him because i was gonna lose that fight but other than that man like right here i let this dude come towards me instead of me running around trying to find him and shit like that dude over here up in this window i ducked behind this 
You know what I'm saying? You just it's just it takes a little while to get used to. It took me a minute to get used to, but it, depending on where my teammates are, it it it, it, it just that's the determining factor or of God damn it. That's the determining factor of whether or not I'm uh, gonna play aggressive or kind of cautious and stuff like that. Like, but right here they're gonna all just funnel through this area because they spawning back there. So I'm not gonna go all the way out there, but I'm gonna stay in that area because I know they're gonna be running towards me. But anyways, man, that's that's kind of my mentality when I'm playing. Like you could just see that I kind of wait and I let them run towards me. Or if I think there's gonna be a lot of people up in a, in a certain area that I'm running towards, I might stop, let my teammate run up in there, take all the. I know I know it's grimy. I let my teammate run up in there, take all the damage from the team, and then I go in there and just try to clean up. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Whoever is in that, that motherfucker was RPG. Whoever is up in that area. So I, I highly suggest doing that. Let your teammate run up in the room first. You know what I'm saying? If he get the kill, he get the kill. Cool. But let him run up in there. Distract their asses. Let they start shooting at him. Then you go up in there. You just mop up everybody. Because half the time they're going to be out of bullets. Or they're going to be so focused on killing that one dude. Like a lot of times, when, once people lock in on somebody. That's who they gonna try. They they just gonna keep loading or unloading bullets on that dude until he's dead. So that's a perfect time to uh, to just go ahead and try to kill somebody. But other than that, man, um, that's just my mentality, man. That I, my route running, my my choices of whether or not to be aggressive are like important factors in the way that I play now. Um, Guns, I just always try to use silencers because it just, I mean, silencers, they just help. And then I don't, I try not to get in too many long range gunfights because shit like target finders and SMG or LMGs and then sniper rifles. Man, that shit is just crazy now. The amount of LMG target finder people there are and the amount of snipers is just, is just ridiculous on this game right now. But. Yeah, man, you just gotta adjust because I mean everybody playing the same game. Even if it's people playing like pussies or they take the the pussy tactics and they run with that, everybody playing the same game. You just gotta adjust to it. Find what's good for you. Some people like assault rifles. I personally don't like the assault rifles on this game. I think the SMGs, even though they tried to nerf it a little bit, SMGs are still the uh, the best for my playing style, and they just they just work better. Uh, but anyways, man, that's the match. Hope some of that made sense to you. Um, it's real hard to explain, man. It's just it's just something you kind of got to get the hang of, and you just got to pay attention to the mini map. Uh, but yeah, man. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Go ahead and leave a like if you want to. If you don't, shit, don't do it then, nigga. I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.